Hey everybody, this is DJ Chubbs. This is my shaving channel. I'm going to do a head shave uh, this uh, Sunday. And uh, today I'm going to do a, uh, a razor emporium and a timeless shave. I'm using the Rex uh, Supply Blade Second Use. I'm using the Razor Emporium Heritage Set. Um, using my timeless razor, my bronze razor, it's a beautiful razor, and uh, using my timeless brush, my red timeless bowl, I've already got my lather made up here, and uh, I'm going to wet my head, and we'll get this show on the road here. Something happened outside my house today. I'm not sure what was going on. I didn't want to go out there because there was so many people outside. Um, the main road in front of my house, which is just a two lane road, but about, I don't know, about 300 yards up the road, something happened because there was ambulances and stuff there the biggest part of the morning and I didn't want to go up there and get in the way or be gawking, so I didn't go up there. I hope that everybody's okay. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday morning. It took me a little while to get up today. I don't know what what it was. I just um, had a hard time waking up. Just kept wanting to go back to bed. But I'm up now. Done drunk my coffee. And I'm ready to go. And we used the PAA uh, pre-shave lock, by the way. I forgot to mention that. The rabid banana. Um, the last razor that uh, I used that blade in was my Carve Overlander. And I got a fantastic shave with with the first, I mean, that was my first time using one of those blades, and uh, that was the first use, and I got a just a fantastic shave with it. So I'm wanting to try it in my favorite razor, my Timeless Bronze. And I figured since I was using the Rex Supply Blades, I'd go ahead and use a Razor Emporium Soap I hope to uh, get a few of the uh, matte soaps. I'm, hopefully in the next couple months, I want to try to get uh, 55, 66, and 77 soap and splash. That's what I want to do. Uh-oh. I throwed it all over me. Okay. Get my razor here. All right, here we go. Still working on growing my beard back. I think it's been almost a month. My beard don't grow fast, but it fills in good eventually. I figure by Christmas, probably ought to have a pretty decent beard again. This blade is so smooth it almost feels like I don't have a blade in my razor. And it's, I had uh, three days worth of growth and it is taking it down. The only, I, I think the only bad thing about having a lot of razors is trying to figure out which one to use and 
and if you don't use one for a while you can feel bad about it and then but if I used I only shave my head about every third day sometimes every other day but about every third day and if you do it like that when you got 70 plus razors sometimes it takes a while to get through them I just can't get over these blades. I, when I first heard the price of them, I said, oh my God, that's so high. But I really like them. I mean, I, I only bought the 50 pack and that, I guess it ain't really a pack cause it was 10, 10, uh, five boxes, 10 uh, boxes with five blades in it. And I, I can't remember, I paid about half of what the hundred is so it was about 15 something i think by the time shipping and handling it's probably a little more but i wanted to try them bad especially where you're really not sure where you're getting your blades from anymore And so far, I can, I'm not just saying it, I love it. This is an awesome blade. It's worked good on, in both razors. got to be careful with this razor because it does have a little overhang on the blade especially behind your ears Just check the back of my head here This uh, razor doesn't have a very big blade gap, but it's pretty efficient. And the first time that I used it, I, I was so tore up. I said, oh God, what have I bought? And uh, I'd used a cheap blade in it and it wasn't a good shave at all. But I, when I put a, a good blade in, I haven't had a bad shave since with it. And it's my favorite razor. It was one that I really, really looked forward to getting, and it ain't let me down. I guess my next favorite razor would probably be my uh, Rockwell 6S, because my wife bought that for me for either my Christmas present or anniversary two years ago. And uh, it's just, it's, one of the smoothest shaving razors out there I, by far I think okay check my head and see what I've done here Is on, so okay. Oh, I got a little little spot right there. I had a bump here, and I figured I'd get it, but I didn't get it. I got another little spot on the back of my head, but I didn't feel it, so couldn't have been too bad. Okay, wet my head up again. Again, and this is a second use on this blade. The Rex 
supply blade and I haven't had anything but good luck with it so far but like it's my only second my only, only my second use but I'm liking what what's going on and uh also I want to see how many blade how many shaves I get out of that blade um I guess I think next I'm going to probably use it in either the bison or the uh um Ellsworth uh Apex razor I would eventually like to get the timeless stainless steel. I'm not going to worry about trying to get any TI razors because I can't afford them, but I really would like to get the uh, uh, stainless steel. I have to save up a little bit, but I believe I can make that a, a thing. I, the, uh, I'm not sponsored by Timeless, um, not sponsored by Rex, Supply Blades, or, or I mean Razor Emporium. I've bought everything. Um, I just didn't enjoy everything so far that I've bought from both companies. I wouldn't mind getting some sponsors, but I really don't know the process. I don't know how to go about making that happen or, you know, how far along in my shaving journey I gotta be before I can get a sponsor or some sponsors. Let's see. Here we go. We're gonna go for round two. remember if I went to wrong. Dag on it. Brain stuff again. I think I need to go this way. I get to that second pass and I forget every time which way I went last. I think it's brain damage. I'm liking it. I see got a little spot right there. Okay, let me see what I got here.
so far this has been a really good shade let's see check out the slickness residual slickness is amazing with the soap my head feels good and smooth i got a couple little patches on the back of my head i'm gonna try to get but it's not bad little little pickups Okay. Put my glasses on here because I can't see nothing. All right. We're going to use some of the. Oh, wait a minute, I got a little bit of stuff on the back of my head. Got it off. Got it on my glasses. All right. We're going to use some Razor Emporium's Heritage Aftershave Splash. I might get some staining because that was a pretty, a pretty efficient shave. Oh yeah. Woo. Definitely got a little burn. Man, that smells good. It definitely smells like a classic kind of barber shop type smell to me. Oh, it's just fantastic. I like it. I'm gonna put a little Thayer's Witch Hazel on here. Use my timeless brush with the G5C knot in it. Timeless razor. Timeless uh, plastic bowl. And it makes a killer lather. We use the Razor Emporium Heritage Set. Um, use the PAA pre shave block. Um, we used some um, uh, witch hazel, Thayer's witch hazel, and uh, fellas, I had a really good shave. I appreciate y'all. If anybody watches this, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe, but you don't have to. This is DJ Chubbs from Back in the Holler, slap dab in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains, God's country, cold country, and that's all, folks.